everyone, just a reminder that these are now daily vlogs, so anytime I refer to this week or this week's vlog, just ignore that, and uh, they're going to be um, grouped together either in one day at a time or a couple days at a time just to keep the length overall uh, a little down, and um, I don't know, maybe they will be more interesting as daily vlogs. I have no idea. I haven't edited them yet, um, And um, but uh, here we go with the next day. It is now day two and I've done my tabulation for my last uh, day in my reading week. I do my reading week on these cue cards. Um, it's a bit involved. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm, not, I'm unfortunately not going to go into the details of that right now. Um, if you're interested in a video that on that, let me know and I'd be happy to do it. But it's uh, a little much on top of everything else. But so what I'm going to do, um, I do have a plan for the day. I do want to set up my reading tracking for May. Um, it's going to be the journal questions as well as some page count um, ideas because I want to, one of the things that happened yesterday is that after I finished reading, I was so excited. I think that was clear. Um, I got to my, my, my 72 pages and then later uh, in the day and early in the morning. I consider anything I read before I get out of bed the previous day. It's just I track things after I've like, you know, gotten my coffee and gotten dressed. So I don't track it at midnight. I track it as after I get out of bed. Um, so yeah, so I read some stuff in the morning and in the evening, uh, which because it was the first of the month is still stuff that I was currently reading, but wasn't from the five. So I'm kind of trying to figure out how, what's the best situation here. Like how strict do I want to be on read from these five books versus can I still read other stuff? I'm not sure. Because I'm not sure, I'm going to track them separately for now and see how the week goes. Um, because these, the, what I was drawn to afterwards were all things that I had just started. So the other ones I was reading from were Her Gallant Captain at Waterloo uh, by Diane Gaston. This is a Harlequin historical. Um, and also Last Night at the Lobster by Stuart Ohan. Oh, sorry, Stuart Onan. Um, this is um, very small. I thought I would finish it before the month finished. Um, and this ended up being a bit of an inadvertent buddy read. So I do have a little social pressure on reading this in a timely fashion. But it's really, it's really, like, it's it's both skinny and short. Um, so <laughs> that very rare combination. <laughs> talking about books here. Anyway, um, so... <laughs> And it's not rare, and all sizes are totally wonderful. Anyway, um, so yeah, so this one I do have a bit of social pressure on, but I have to check in with my buddy in terms of how they're doing in terms of their reading, because I want to stay at similar pace with them if I can. And then I also read a bit from the Death Defying Dr. Mirage, Second Lives. This is a bind-up, and I finished the first five uh, comics, and then this bind-up actually has another four so I thought maybe I should just stop it at the first five but I have it from Hoopla so I'm going to continue reading it I'm really enjoying it it's a little it's a remind it's a little like paranormal investigative but with a love story um and uh, uh it's really interesting um I I just picked it I needed it for I needed a D for my A to Z graphic novel and comics challenge so yeah so I'm going to um so I started to read that so those are all things that technically I was currently reading, but I don't know. I'm going to count the five in one column and then everything else in another. And I'm actually not going to include the graphic novel because my pace is so much faster. So I'll count that separately. But these I will count um, in uh, as currently reading, but separate from the five. I think that's what I'm going to do. So my plan for the today is to set up my reading journal and do my reading plan for the week. I do these cue cards. Uh, where It's for daily tracking. So I put, I'll just explain it very briefly. So I put the uh, page I started on, the page I'm currently on, this is in pencil, um, the total number of pages in the book, and then how much is remaining. So this is a way where I can easily um, 
figure out how many pages to see. I obviously was not see all these dashes. So these are the books, the books I picked last week to read. Obviously didn't read a lot of them. Um, and then um, these ones I read a bit more from. Um, it's just, an, and then I do a total at the bottom for the page, the other side, and uh, yeah, and I'm sure I'm going to do one of these for, for the five. I'll do one side will be the five, and the other side will be um, uh, uh, everything else. So, um, I, <laughs> see, that just happened, So, um, but I'll get there in a sec. Uh, so I'm going to do my reading plan for the week. week. I've planned my extra title, because I'm giving myself one extra title, Technically, The De Death Defying T Doctor is my extra title because I didn't finish it. But I also have one uh, Hoopla Boro that will expire this week if I don't finish it. So after I finish that, I will go on to read The Wake by Scott Snyder. And I think these, I think Sean Murphy is the illustrator. Winner of the 2014 Eisner Award for Best Limited Series. I don't know anything about this. Wow, the art looks cool. So, um, and again, I picked it for my A to Z graphic novel and comics uh, uh, challenge for W for Wake. Actually, W is not a hard um, letter. Who, what, where, when, why. <laughs> there's lots, there's lots of titles out there. The Woods, The Witcher, I'm sure there's adaptations. Anyway, so it's not, there's lots of W witches, anything with witches, you know. So it's not a hard uh, letter to get. Other ones at the end of the elephant, harder. So anyway, okay, so I've picked my extra title, so tick box for that. I'm also going to answer my journal questions. I need to do that. I think, um, and I'll get to something else on that in a sec. I'm going to time my reading again for each of the five titles, see how I do. No judgment, just take the number, and then later in the day I will compare it to um, how it was yesterday and try and read my 72 pages and anything else on my currently reading. I'm sure I will do that a little bit too. I have some other stuff to do, reply to emails and stuff like that. My TBR went up today so I would like to <clears throat> reply to comments if I can. Um, I know I'm a late replier to comments but I'm going to get to that Why? one of the reasons why that happens. But I might not be doing a lot of videos um, and clips today. I'm actually having a pretty bad pain day so I I'm in, um, so my focus is uh, <laughs> straying, and um, so I might not be doing a lot of videos or clips because it makes me grumpy when I have, have a bad pain day, and I don't like to do videos when I'm grumpy, which is one of the reasons why I resist doing vlogs, because sometimes this happens. So, but if anything, I do set up, and I don't know if I'll actually have the energy to do all of these things, other than the reading, the reading I should be able to do. I always do my reading plan on Sunday, so I probably will adhere to that, but I think I already, it's very early early in the day and I can tell that I already need to rest. Fortunately, one of the things I can do <clears throat> while I'm resting is read, um, but because it gets me a bit grumpy, sometimes my attention span isn't great and so I like to do other things like watch movies or TV or YouTube, um, play games on my phone, whatever. So um, yeah, so there might not be as many clips today, but anything that I set up, I promise I will come back and report in on. Uh, it might be later today or it might be tomorrow, so we'll see how the day goes. Um, but, um, I'm very happy that, oh, and I did, I did, I think I might do a number tracker. This is my, my thumbnail. Um, I think this is how I'm going to do my number tracking, um, cause I'm trying 2000 for the month is the goal and 500 for the week. So I think I'm going to do blocks of 25 and then go up to 250, 500, 750, 1000, 1250, 1500, 1750, and 2000. So it's easily broken down into weeks so that you can see the weeks at a time. And then I think I'm going to color coordinate because I do tend to do that. Um, and I think I will pick a color per week. Um, and I might use one, like I might use yellow. I'll probably start with yellow because I'm still in love with these tulips. Um, and I think I'll use yellow for the first week and then the second week I'll use orange and then red and then maybe purple or something just so you, it's easy to see what's week to week. And I may or may not choose a different color per day because um, that, if you, I can get a visual sense of like I'll have this in numbers, but sometimes when you see things visually, you understand it differently. Um, and um, so I might choose, you know, I'm sure I have tons of tons of crayons. I love tons of crayons. I love tons of crayons. So I am sure I can find seven yellows. Might not be able to find seven reds. Red, so I might do yellow orange. And then have to, I need seven. I'll figure that out later. But, um, or I might just pick one color for each and, um, and uh, or alternate, I can pick two and do, you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It doesn't really matter. What matters is being able to differentiate week to week. So as long as I can figure out how to do that, um, it may be in a fun way with color. <laughs> 
<laughs> I will do that because I do like doing that. But that being said, I don't know whether to count these pages in there as well. Should I do them a different color, a light and a dark or something? That might be getting too complicated. I need to think on that. So I'm going to probably set up the grid, but I'll probably wait to color it in until I figure out how I feel about reading pages from the five versus currently reading, but not the five. So that is something that I will be pondering because um, this is still progress. These are still progress. This doesn't feel like progress because I was supposed to finish it before the end of the month, kind of. Um, so I'll be pondering that. So there we go. There is, wow, that was a long video. Um, and um, hopefully I will have some other updates today. But if not, I will see you tomorrow. One thing I think I forgot to come back to was that my journal questions, I think I'm going to answer them on a scrap piece of paper and so that I have the answers before today's reading starts because um, sometimes some of these are about like, did I meet my 72 page wall? That's, I know that whether or not, but some of them are more like how I felt about stuff. Like, um, did I enjoy the books that I was reading? And yes. So, so yay, let's just do one right now. Um, do I, did I feel behind on my reading? No, this was great. Now, I don't have a current time pressured read going on, but this is something that I often feel and I didn't feel it today. So that is fabulous. So that's something I'm experimenting with. That this whole thing is about sort of in a weird way. Um, how did I feel that my reading went this day? Satisfied, dissatisfied, one out of five stars or something like that. And I feel satisfied. I felt thrilled that I set, hit my 72 pages and I was so excited to read pages from other things and not feel guilty or something that I should be reading something else. So I feel very happy with how my reading went. Um, did I read books outside of the five? Yes. <laughs> did I read them after my 72 pages? Yes. What helped me get to my goal? Well, to be honest, vlogging. I knew this whole, I knew, like, one, yesterday was a low pressure day because it's a bit of a buffer day or a bonus day because it's not my weekly reading. Also, I had the whole day with no other plans. So that honestly helps. And that's not going to be the case every day. What else helps me get me to my goal? Um... Um, I read earlier in the day, which is something that I think I'm going to be experimenting with this, with this. Um, and I will say that one of the things that helped me get to my page count goal was definitely the fact that there was a lot of illustrations in the laws uh, guide. So that definitely helped. So um, I said, decide the time to read. <laughs> what impeded getting to my goal? I don't think I can really answer that when I succeeded, but I will say that it took a lot of time, like not only vlogging but also setting aside the time to read and doing all the time reading like it was it was um it ended up being about two hours which I don't think is the amount of time I can dedicate every day so I can imagine that time might be a pressure later um uh if I read outside the five uh and hadn't read my 72 pages why so I don't have to deal with that because I did that's not what happened so day one was a good success oddly it is not the first day of my first week so which is today so we'll see how today goes so I guess I will rewrite those out on on scrap paper so that I can um put them aside so I can get onto my reading today because I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to update Goodreads and then I'm just going to go right into reading. Normally I would wait till later in the day, but I just, I need to rest. So I might as well get my reading in. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, wow. I haven't read this since October, 2020. <laughs> No wonder I didn't remember it very well. To refresh. Yay! There's the five. Woo -woo. Taking a soundtrack for some reading. This one, not quite classical, I quite enjoy. So that's what we're gonna go with.
Okay, well, I have done my timed reading for this day, too. It's been a bit of a rough day, to be honest, but I did manage to get to my reading, so that's good. I don't know if it's enough yet. I'm going to save doing the math until I um, until now. But first, I want to share a quote, um, which I thought was interesting. Where, where was it? It was from Essential Art History. Yay! Um, it was about classics. Or it said classic. Where? I know I've... <laughs> no, I highlighted it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's alphabetical. It'll be under C L A. There we go. Classism. No, classicism. I don't think I'm saying that right. Classicism. Cla it, not sure. Okay, so classic has several meanings. The best known for being a work of literature that, in the words of Mark Twain, everyone wants to have read and no one wants to read. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. And then they, they continue saying, that is a work of acknowledged and lasting excellence. <laughs> that, was, that might be the very best definition of a classic, <laughs> as I have heard. Um, so yeah, I don't have my pay, my reading pace for these yet, um, but I can still just do the math. So um, from The Female Man, I read 12 pages in 20 minutes, which I think is the same as last time, so it's 12. Um, from Essential Art History, I only read 9 pages in my 20 minutes, but I did end up reading 10 pages, so that takes us to 24. Uh, in Tess of the Dubervilles, I read 13 pages in 17 minutes, I think I continued to finish the chapter. Okay, well, we'll just go with the 13, which takes us to 37. Then I, and I continue to have a sense that I'm not going to enjoy the themes of it. Um, Tess of the Dubervilles. Um, uh, but I will have to save that for a review, I guess. And also, I have to get more than 70 pages into it until I know how I feel because I barely scratched the surface. Uh, I, actually, I'm over 10% now, so I have scratched the surface. <laughs> okay, um, for Law's Guide to Nature Drawing and Journaling, I read 34 pages. Oh, we're getting close there. So 34 plus 37 is 171 pages. <laughs> <laughs> did I read more than one page of Stormcursed in 20 minutes? I did. I read 14 pages of Stormcursed. So I have read 85 pages. Yay! So that is my reading, my my 72 pages done for the day. But that actually is a lot of reading, cause, or it is a lot of time, because for most of those, I read 20 minutes, and then for Tessa the Dubervilles and Laws guide to nature drawing and journaling uh, I read it for 17 pages sometimes I I if I'm at the end of a chapter or at the end of a section I'll stop my timing which is why I like to have a formula so that it it's great to read 20 minutes and then you can just times it by three and then there's your hourly rate but um also the formula means you can read five eight ten and you don't have to do any messy math but anyway 85 pages yay so that means I can read my other books <laughs> or gallant nights at Waterloo, which I gotta say, like, I am about 60 pages into this, and so far, he is not very gallant. Unless I am misunderstanding what that word means. I don't think he's very gallant. Like, he's does the appropriate things you would do in a situation to show, you know, it's a, it's a, a second chance romance, um, and he would feel, he still feels scorned uh, by the first chance, <laughs> but so far he hasn't been very gallant. Anyway, so I can read that, and I can read Last Night at the Lobster, and I can read, um, The Death-Defying Dr. Mirage, because I have read my pages, I have read my pages, but as I was saying, and then I got excited about something, this is a lot of time reading, right? So we have an hour plus 34 minutes, plus, you know, some time in between to do the math, um, you know, so, and sometimes I read to the end of the chapter. So that's a fair amount of time. So that's something I need to consider. Actually, though, it was my estimate. I estimated that this probably would take about an hour and a half a day to get to 72 pages because it's that sort of like if 60 pages an hour is my regular pace, um, except for classics and some heftier nonfiction, <laughs> which are both on the list. It just seemed like it would be the amount of time that I could 
comfortably read that. And that's something about this too, is that I don't want to be speed reading, which is one of the reasons why sometimes I resist timing and figuring out how long something will be and, and reading to a deadline. It's because I do want to enjoy stuff too. So, and, and, oh man, I was in, I gotta say, I was in a really good part of the female man. There was this, this sort of cocktail party or something, or they were at a bar or something. And it was just like, it was just really entertaining, and um, I'm starting to understand it a little bit better now. It was the last, the section I read was all focused on um, the same people in the same setting, whereas yesterday when I was reading it, it was all over in different situations, and so this time, and this time it was funny, and it was funny because some of the things, because it's a feminist work, so there is social commentary, and I'm like, oh my god, this is written in 75, and there were some things that I'm like, yep, that still happens, <laughs> that still happens, so still more work to be done, anyway, so I feel good about that, because now I feel like I can just do whatever I want, <laughs> it's just kind of both exciting and silly, um, but I am going to run with both the exciting and silly, although I'm still, it's, as I said, it's been a rough day, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to do anything super exciting. I might play WoW. I'm working on some fishing achievements. I might go, I, there's a new area, there's an area I haven't been to, it's not new, it's probably like 10 years old, but, um, so I might go there. I have a couple of fish in the, in this area that I need to get. <laughs> so I might do that. <laughs> That'll be my reward. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, yeah, that'll probably be it for today, and uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Okay, thanks for coming on the adventure. Hello, boys. Welcome to your own office. I hear you're trying to make the precinct more efficient. Gina, what are you doing in the captain's chair? Please, I'm open to any ideas about efficiency.